Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the very first episode of Codeverse TV. My name is Katie, I'm your host, and I'm here to tell you about some amazing things going on at Codeverse right now, as well as build a very special mission using one of our special mission cards. But first, I have a huge announcement. Codeverse just launched its app store, which is the first app store built by people just like you. Check it out. There's tons of apps and games on there that you can play and share with your family and friends. And if you have an app or game that you have built and want to submit it to the Codeverse App Store, all you have to do is tell your parents to email us at tv at codeverse.com. All right, so before I code this incredible mission card, let's play some video games on the App Store. Take me to my appy place. Okay, so I am going to pick a mobile game that I've never played before on the App Store. Let's see, do do do. Let's do this one. The Trap by Jackson, eight years old. Let's see, The Trap. Trust your instincts and pick the best snacks in each level to advance through this game. Great, okay. Watch out for the traps though. Hmm, let's go. Got this apple. Oh, okay, I'm on level two. Oh, looks like I've got to dodge these fire bombs. Ooh. Oh, there's still a couple left. <laughs> okay, cool. So clearly I have to pick a donut to get to the next level. What about the green donut? Let's do it. Oh, you lose. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Back to level one. Let's do it. Okay, so I'll grab the apple. Oh, get to level two. Okay, dodge all the fire bombs. Let's see. Oh! Okay, it looks like I'm safe to go. Okay, so this time I'm gonna go for this other donut because clearly the green one was a baddie. Okay, great, level three. So we have a bat and we have a cake. An apple and a ghost. Oh, the bat's gone. So what should I do? Should I eat some food? We all know what happened the last time I ate some food, so maybe I'm gonna dodge it and just go straight to this ghost. Yeah. Aha! You win! Awesome! Jackson, that was such a great game. I loved the use of the labels and how you used the directional pad. It was really challenging and fun. Everyone should go and check this out. It's called The Trap on the App Store and it's built by Jackson, who's eight years old. Nice work, Jackson. Okay, this is Mission Control where I take you through one of our special missions. Missions are guided coding activities that range in difficulty level from beginner, intermediate, advanced, expert and pro. Today we're going to learn how to build this game which is called Snack Time which features a very hungry dog. In this mission we'll learn all about object methods, object attributes, fixed properties and collision events. Let's do it. First things first, I have to log into my Codeverse account and select new project. Once we're there, we have to tell the computer to import a few objects that we'll need for the game. In this case, we need a fish, a snack, and a space dog. Awesome, first step is done. Now we need to create the objects so that they show up on the right hand side of the screen, which is where the game is. To do this, we'll use a var statement. Var stands for variable. Var space dog equals new space dog. And the X and Y are the coordinates, so where we want to actually place the dog on the screen. So in this case, let's type in 5090, which means the space dog should show up in the middle at the bottom of the screen. Cool, now press run and see what happens. Ah! Our space dog falls right off the screen. He's probably floating around in space somewhere, which we don't want. We want him to stay put on the screen so we can use him within the game. So to do this, we have to use something called a method. Type in space dog dot set fixed true. 
Now press run. You'll notice that your doggy has stayed put on the screen. Let's make the dog bigger. Type in space dog dot set size and let's make him 400. So there's a few ways that we can customize our dog. We can remove his helmet or his collar or change his color. What do we want to do? Why don't we remove his helmet? Type in space dog dot hide helmet. Ta-da! Great. So this game has two snacks. There's a good snack and a bad snack. Let's go ahead and create the good snack first. We'll use a var statement again to do that. Var good snack equals new snack. And let's set the position to 2050. So the bone, the good snack, will show up right above the dog's head. We want to make sure that when we run the game, that we're able to drag that good snack over to the dog's mouth. Let's use another method to do that. Type in good snack dot set draggable and set it to true. Now let's make the snack bigger. Type in good snack dot set size 100. Now it's time to create the bad snack. To do that, let's create another var statement. Var bad snack equals new fish and position it at 80, 50. Let's make the bad snack draggable. Bad snack dot set draggable true. Let's customize the fish a little bit. How about we switch up his fin? What would be something that a space dog wouldn't like to eat? How about a spiky fish? So to change the fin type, type in bad snack dot set fin type spiky. Now hit run. You'll notice that you can now drag the good snack and drag the bad snack anywhere across the screen. So now we want to make it so that when we drag those snacks to the dog's mouth, the dog has some sort of reaction. To do this, we're going to create a when statement. We use when statements to tell the computer that when one action happens, it triggers another action to happen. So type in when space dog dot collides with good snack space dog dot set mouth type wide open and now for the bad snack when space dog dot collides with bad snack space dog dot set mouth type frown now hit run and see what happens if you drag the good snack over to the dog's mouth yeah the dog is super happy about it but look when you go ahead and drag the fish, the bad snack over to the dog, not a fan, big frowny face. And that's that, well done. You've just completed one of my favorite missions, snack time. I hope you loved it as much as I do. Join us tomorrow for some more fun coding adventures with me. See you soon, bye.